In an unusual move, researchers searching for looted Cambodian antiquities decided to get some help from the looters. Former looters had regrets and sometimes cried when they saw the beautiful sculptures. They realized that they shouldn't have done that, so they dedicated their lives to helping find the sculptures. The looter of the elephant headed god Ganesha sculpture told our team about the original site and how they broke the sculpture into pieces. When they saw the news about Ganesha being returned to Cambodia, they were pleased. Prumkanya and Pratida are researchers at a legal consulting firm working with the Cambodian Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts to find Cambodian antiquities stolen and sold to the international art market mostly in the 1990s. Today I am proud to announce that we are returning 30 In a repatriation ceremony in New York, US officials and the Cambodian ambassador to the United States celebrated the success of a two nations partnership. We had found and returned 30 Cambodian bronze and stone statues of Buddhist and Hindu deities carved more than a thousand years ago. The Ganesha, the Skanda and the other 28 pieces we're returning were looted uh, from Gage and other archaeological sites during a long period of civil war and instability in Cambodia. The whole Cambodian people are happy and they are very uh, uh, appreciative that uh, the U.S. government could return the looted cultures back, return their soul, their identity back to Cambodia. The repatriation is the result of a five-year investigation, according to Homeland Security Investigations in New York. Our agents and experts, alongside those of our government partners, hunted down leads, examined origin, reviewed financial records, and conducted dozens of inter interviews to find and recover these pieces we are returning today. U.S. Attorney Damien Williams said the investigation uncovered a pipeline for the artifacts where looters sent them to antiquity dealer Douglas Latchford, who then sold them to Western dealers, collectors, and institutions. Latchford died in 2020. Some of the looters told the researchers that they stole the artifacts to support themselves. The looters I met said they sent artifacts to the dealer and got paid only after the dealer sold the pieces. They said mostly they didn't get much money, they got paid very little, and sometimes they didn't get paid at all. The 30 Cambodian cultural pieces that have been traded on the international art market for tens of millions of dollars will soon be transferred to the National Museum of Cambodia. Chetra Chap for VOA News, Washington.